Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> call me who I'm leaving. <laughs> Why are you sitting with your back straight like that? that you look yeah, like... That's how I sit, it's posture. You, you man don't know about posture. Why sit like that? You, that's why you, you see, see me, you see when I'm older, I'm gonna be looking good because of my posture, fam. Yeah, posture is everything. Yeah, when you man get long and bent over because you're old and you look old. Chris, I don't, listen anyway, listen. You look old. Um, episode 10 of the Rated 18 oh, show. We're we filming. But, but yeah, of course we're filming the fool. <laughs> this is what was. I can't do it with this chopper seat, brother, you know. <laughs> Dickhead. <laughs> Red Team 18 show. Um, I just want to say thank you guys so much for the support. We have to big up the Red Teens, the supporters on Patreon. Because big up they... the Red Teens. No, right. big up the Red Teens. Big up the Red Teens. Big up the Red Teens. Percy, you're not saying nothing. Oh, shit. Are we ready? Yes. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yes, man. Big up everybody. And um, exactly what Keen just said. Look how ago. You two are on plus one today. Everyone's behind time. What's up? <laughs> you know why they're on the back? Them back to Dave Jarvu. All right. <laughs> Um, I just want to say the, the Patreons um, is two pound a month, and you can it's see going up. all of the extra content you're getting. Um, also, you guys get like sneak peek previews on certain things. You get extra episodes. You get extra time every week. It's only two pound a month, so make sure you guys sign up. Mm -hmm. If you go onto our link tree in our Instagram, you'll find it on Kane Brown Comedy or Christopher Savage, mm -hmm. comedian. Official sponsors for today's episode is Ragatonic. Mm -hmm. um, if you go into our link tree, you can go onto the link and you'll get a 10% discount for any Ragatonic drink. Um, Chris, got got drunk. Chris got a mashup last week. All right, brother. Use lean. I'm going to take the, um, what's this version today? The ras blue raspberry. <laughs> I spoke to like some of the Ray teens, yeah? Yeah. So I went on um, the page the other day on a story and I said, listen, Last week we did a um, section where the, the men was talking about women not to date. So I asked the women, what type of men shouldn't you date, should you avoid? Oh God, the messages I got sent through, yeah? You have to woman, we can't man them nothing to Yeah, okay. like, what, what, do you know how we last week we mm. did it about the uh, women? So, geez, let me have a women look. Women don't ramp you know, and they will tell you straight, all right, so the main thing that kept coming up, yeah, was mama's voice. That's you. Me? Why you, why you have voice girls to no. high pass? Who's always around their mum's house? <laughs> Who's always around their mum's house? Yeah. For but... food? For washing, did your mum wash your clothes? No. Ever? No. Ever? My whites. <laughs> my whites, my whites. He brings whites. his white clothes So you can't wash your whites yourself? No, but do you know what it is? They just do it a different way. Go on, tell me what she does that's different. She I'll puts sodium crystal in it. So why don't you just buy sodium crystal? <laughs> or some bitters? Why don't you get some bitters? That would oh, bleach out whatever you got. No, 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 hold on. Right? But sometimes, you're a boy, Chris. No, sometimes <laughs> your mum, when you leave the house, they still want to feel like a mum and they still do things you're for you. You're a mummy's boy, Chris. No, I tell, you, I tell you what it is. Go on. I'll tell you what it is, yeah? And mama's boy is someone, right, that has to rely on his mum for every single thing, right? That's not true. It, it is. It's, a mama's boy is You're someone that's boy. like, oh, mummy, no, mummy this. No, you can be a mama's boy, but mama's boys are also people that respect their mum. So, the, the, no, in fact, sorry, you got mama's boys. These mama's boys are the ones that are all latchy over their mum. They put their mum for everything. Everything's mummy, but my mummy said my mummy that that's a mama's boy. Now someone that just respects and loves his mum and just looks after her, you can't really call them mama's but boys. But you look but okay, you just said looks after her. That's a very key point. When was the last time you cooked for your mum? Never. Okay. <laughs> okay. So no, well, well, good well, God. Well, no, well, 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 you never cook for your for, never for mama Jai. Mama. mama wouldn't let us cook for her. So that's the first part. Remember what he, how he just described it. He just said when he looks when uh, uh, if you're not a mummy's boy, then that means that you're looking after them. All right then. How many times have you cleaned up your mum's house recently? Loads of times. Recently. No, so I'll help her with the garden if it's needed. I'll help her take like out the church. I'll, I'll drop her places if she needs it. Yeah. That's yeah, part of the mummy boy resume. I, I took her to Big you Brother. You took her to Big Brother. <laughs> every, she wants to do... Every, I took her... I take her... I do things what my mum asks. That she, she goes, Chris, can you get me from Big Brother? I said, yeah, so I got the ticket for it. Chris, you are a mummy's boy. No, you're, you're there's a, a difference. L listen, all right then. I'm a man all that... Right, res all right, on, I'm on, a man that respects his mum. See... That's, yeah, but you that as well. You do respect your mum, and I know you love your mum. But also as well, you're, you are a little bit of a mummy's boy. If you call Chris... 
Four o'clock in the morning on a boxing night. Where are you? Where do you watch the boxing? We all do. It's a family thing. We all watch it at mum's because... We watch it at mum's. Yeah, because mum and my um, dad, they were big in boxing from when we were kids and we always used to watch it. So it's always been a traditional thing for the family to just go... Fair enough. Yeah. So but, but you are a mum's boy though, Chris. No! Listen, just because these girls are going to turn off because, you, yeah? No, 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 because someone in there also said... Um, Men that don't respect men that don't respect and love their mum. A lot of women like men that love their mum because it shows that they are good with of women. Of course, there's one thing loving your mum, but mm -hmm. there's another thing where you're kind of dependent on her. You're I'm still, not dependent on her. You said a little bit dependent on her. Oh come on, 100 percent. No, no a I bit. live by myself. How am I dependent on my mum? You live by yourself and, bring, and, and separate your whites and then bring them down to your mum. You know? <laughs> Case closed. <laughs> Open the shut case. <laughs> no worry, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. If you love, you're full of your mum, yeah, yeah. He does love her. No worry, uh, listen, yes, I, I rate Chris, but just say you're a mummy's boy, a bit. Ain't you lot mummy's boys? No, my mum, my mum left England when I was uh, 19. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to go and live in Jamaica. Mm. I've been here by myself since. So no, I'm not a mummy's boy. What about you, Uncle Percy? Was your mum? Why am I not going to lay? I found independence at a very young age, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. When my upbringing, me mm. have to wash, cook, and clean, mop the veranda, I mean, you know what I mean? Yeah. Polish the veranda, uh -huh. I have to do everything. Okay. So, so she teach me how to yeah. look after myself. Mm. So mm. when I come out in the whole wide world, I can defend for myself. How old were you when you lived by yourself? I was about 15, 16. 15, when you lived by yourself? Listen to me, man. You see you young little puppies? <laughs> <laughs> we all, we don't know teeth drop out, we're still there, we don't know mama. <laughs> go look work, go pay on no bills. But 15 Give your mama a break. Yeah, but 15 though, <laughs> first. Yeah, but we brought up different. You know how much, you know how much. Your mom didn't like it. My first, my, <laughs> yeah, come on, listen to me. My first job was a chimney sweep. <laughs> no, listen to me. <laughs> Listen to me, sister, right? <laughs> we had responsibilities at a young age, you know what I mean? Yeah, but not to be out by yourself, though, Paz. That's Listen mad. Listen to me, man. Fifteen. When you know how to be responsible and street smart and mm. everything, you know what I mean? You have to do it from a young age, man. Yo, Come when on. When did you leave home? Um, Mid-twenties. Like what, 25? No, a bit later than that, 27. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just sell it away. Late 20s, 27, it? Yeah. You, you see what I mean? I was yeah. still going to uni and stuff. Let I still needed to sort myself out. You can't wash. Yes. Whites. Yeah, if You're I need to. Damn late. I can. You know what? Pull it in the bathroom, yeah? Wash it a little bit, scrub the colour. So, how, is that what your mum does still? No. <laughs> oh. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking who's well, I'm You sure. can't cook? Of course. Chris you can't cook. You can't cook? What do you mean I I'm can't a cook? Wicked. Chris, you can't cook. I'm a wicked cook. Brother, I've been a dad since I've been a dad since what for the past 26 years. So oh, I'm, I okay. can cook. Chris can't cook. Why can't I cook? Chris came in here today with rice and steak. Brother, I couldn't smell not one flavour in that pot. <laughs> I said, what bring the bag with really fresh air in there? I thought, man's eating candy. I said, the food blends. I thought it's eating candy floss. No. I couldn't, I couldn't smell nothing. No, the thing is, yeah. The man, the man put it in the microwave. You know, normally you have to put food in the microwave and you pop the lid. Normally it's like, bro, I who's got. <laughs> Brother, no all purpose seasoning, no pepper, it's no nothing. nothing. Don't listen. Let me tell you something. One of the biggest problems I had when we come out of this country, mm -hmm. right? You see, when I had my own place mm -hmm. and the lovely Mariel, them used to come in my yard. Mm -hmm. They never want to leave. Mm -hmm. When they see how decent and pretty, pretty my house is, mm -hmm. right? When they see some can cook mm -hmm. and clean and everything, mm -hmm. they, oh, can I still get out of here? Man? You've been here for three days now. Come on now. <laughs> from when you were, from, what, you came here to live by yourself at 15? <laughs> or you were in Germany? I've always had a place, you know what I mean, oh, yeah. by the age of, like, I'd say about, 16, 17, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. when we leave those about 15, 16, we live with like my, my family members there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But don't you think that's a bit too young though? Back in them day there, no. Yeah. You know, things was different them day I couldn't have my kids out on road at that age now, you know? Oh, that would be mad. Mad. That's why, that's what I'm saying. But you're, this is what me Your kids are going to be dependent on they you. Are, but they are. Bro, you should see the way you bad him up. Yeah, bad <laughs> Dad, yeah, I hope I had that. I hope I had that. He said, Dad. Because you're piling. He said, she does that. You, 
Wait, he was eating the food, yeah? And goes, no, you have to eat it. He said, I don't want it, Dad, and you can't force me to eat it. <laughs> 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 no, no, I backed back away like a bitch. <laughs> yeah, he did. That's what is it? All right, all right. <laughs> No, you, you think you could do that back in... I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to lie. You, you think you could do that back in the DS? That's, That's why they call Generation Alpha, because they run things. Yeah, they run. I'm Imagine gonna lie. you can't force me to eat. That's right. Force you. Yeah, you, you do it to <laughs> <laughs> You know the first thing, even if he did say it, I wouldn't be saying that too. <laughs> no, no, that's what I'm saying. No, do you know what it is? I'll be honest, see this, see, I don't know, Perth, I'm not going to lie to you, yeah? <laughs> see this one, I don't know what it is. Mm. I don't know what it is. You can't discipline him. It's not even, it's, he's not even a bad child, but it's like, I've just lost control. <laughs> <laughs> the way he banded him up. You but, are false, but, mate. You know what it is? He knows I love him. Like, you know, like, I'm different with him to my other kids. I had my other kids when I was in my 20s. Uh. So when you're in your 20s, you're still trying to find yourself. I'm, I'm still finding myself. I'm still, I'm in a relationship. I don't understand how relationships work properly. You're trying mm -hmm. to navigate that. Yeah. You're trying to navigate being a dad. You're trying to make money for the family. You don't know yourself 100%. You're trying to, you don't know where you're fitting in the world, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so you're trying to be a parent at the same time. And what I realize is, this time around, I kind of like, I'm in a different space. But my issue is, I'm doing too much. Yeah, I tell you what I mean. I'm in grand grandparent mode. You oh, know, like when okay. the grandparent when they spoil. Come the here. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. even sleeping in my tenner sometimes. Shall I go to that too much? <laughs> For no That's reason. It. <laughs> Come on, let's go get some sweets. <laughs> <laughs> like he's not my child. <laughs> it's not what I said. I don't know what I'm so doing. So let me ask you this question now, right? Because back in my idea, right? You see, if a child misbehave yeah. one time. And get a horse bossing. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. One time, so bad, you, you would remember it for the rest I've of your life. I've never done that. I've never hit my child. So hold on there now. So you see, like, if them out in the street and they misbehave, you just give that death stare. You know that look? Mm. And as soon as you get, you know exactly what it means. You have a look to give him. What make him behave himself? Brother, there's no look. <laughs> there's no nothing. You know, I'm no look. Brother, brother, even, even, listen to me. I've tried everything. I've tried everything. Come in. Shout in. Come on, get out. Stop it! None of it! Zero! The man just barked back after me. I said, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'll start fixing shit up. No, okay. man! <laughs> but then, I, but just, then are you scared for like when he gets older because... I am. I am. I'm not going to lie to you. The honest truth, I'm not preparing him for the world. Because That's not, the truth. I'm a too lot of these kids grow up and then if you treat them like that, when they get older, they think you and them are friends. Yeah. And then they could talk to you the way they want to no. talk to you. I'll be honest with you, he knows. All right, he then. don't know nothing. He knows. He, <laughs> he just knows what that's up. You could teach him some <laughs> tough love. <laughs> no, I can't, I can't be tough. You I can't, can't be tough. Really? I can't be tough. Can't be tough. Can't be tough. Listen to me, man. That's why you're quite tough love. No, man, little boy's too sweet, man. You know what it is? You see, like, how much I appreciate... You know what it is? One sweet, you're going sour. You're scared. You're never. Oh, yeah, sweet boy, when you get too licking in your neck, back. <laughs> you, you bitch, you. <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna lie, yeah. <laughs> Most of us lucky that he's mine and not Percy's, you know. Like, he would have a different experience. Listen to me. You see two some cool manage back in my idea, oh, up in the hills, up in Percy Hart, you see. I'm not gonna lie to you. He's, He's got, I'm, I'm trying to get him into like, <laughs> like now, I'm like gonna take him, me and him gonna go kickboxing. Mm. Yeah, teach him for B to hop him before. No, but I have to teach him. <laughs> no, because it's like he's, he's bad at home, but then he's really soft with other things. And it's like, hold on, you're just wicked in the I yard, brother. I can explain. You see, because you don't teach him that there's no consequences when him be naughty at home. Mm -hmm. When you go up on the street, he might go buck up on something what you call real life. Uh -huh. no, when him open up your mouth to the wrong person and that person go and fix him business. <laughs> wow, man, see, my son's going to get fixed up all wrong. But that's how it is. <laughs> I hope my child don't buck up on Percy, child. Brother, my Listen son, to me, my man. My son come back with one shoe on. <laughs> Let me tell you something, right? <laughs> no, this is a true thing. <laughs> I would, you would get your heart boss if you come home crying. <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> we just get into one fight. <laughs> you, you beat him? No. You, you little shit. You better go back and boss your heart. Yeah, but so I got beat it's true. So you, you, go there, you can lose your fight and go home and get beat again. I get sent back out to get beat again. So you see what the next thing comes? That, that, and he's telling me that he ain't got trauma. Look at him. <laughs> But it's toughing your up, man. It's toughing it up. That's why you can't show your face. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Listen to me. Man, still got bruises from back, from back in 74. 
Me tell you, Chris. Chris. Me mother boss me ask what do you say? <laughs> I don't have no bruises, but you listen see, to me. You see this eye? <laughs> oh, it gone this way? <laughs> Get in that with it, right? But it teach you to defend yourself. You know yeah, what I mean? Fair enough. If you can bully people at your house or when you come on the street, that's true. You're going fine. Also, you're not that. There's always somebody bigger and <laughs> better than you. Yeah, but you know a lot of I mean? people do like when they when they're angry at home, it's because they're getting bullied at school. That's a, that's a, a lot of the time it's that. I'll be honest with you, like, I'm, he's emotionally aware. Uh, so he does, he understands about, he um, understands how to behave himself in certain situations. When he's in school, teachers are like, oh, he's lovely. Mm. He's lovely. He, keep, he keeps getting, like, top of the yeah, class. Yeah. All of that, because, mm. but I think what it is, and this is what I don't like about school, school conditions them to be obedient mm. and follow rules and mm -hmm. be quiet. Whereas me, I want you to express yourself. If you're upset, express that you're upset. Yeah, yeah, if you're yeah. frustrated, there's nothing wrong with that, it's an emotion. Yeah. I don't want you to feel like you can't express yourself. Yeah. The, the generation that you grew up in, you felt like you couldn't express how you felt. Yeah, if I'm humble yourself, you stay there. Right, exactly. <laughs> and, and then that's why you're turning to a pussy fiend. <laughs> what are you saying you're a pussy fiend? Everything, everything to, everything's pum pum. Because <laughs> you have to suppress all these emotions. Well, I mean. That's how it come out. That's how it come out. Well, I mean. That's how it come out. I am no different to certain man out of road. Everybody like a little tun tun. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You like tun tun. Actually. You like tun tun. Yeah. You like tun tun. Yeah, but all right then. Me say if you like tun tun. Yes, but can I say something first? Did you, when yeah, you were growing bro. up, could you express your emotions? Of course. How? In front when of your parents? When me going on the tun me just whine it sweet. <laughs> This is what I'm trying to say. I've seen the emotions. Yeah, yeah. He can't, he can't face his emotions. Right, no. We're going to dig deep, I'm, I'm, going to, I'm going to tell you right now, yeah? Go on, then. This is how I have been brought up. Uh -huh. You see, if a bully bully you, uh -huh. right? Say like a bully thumping on your face. You're thumping ten times as hard and I know his bridge making chop off. <laughs> and I guarantee you, say, I'm not going to put your hands to you again. Yeah, but I'm talking about emotions. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, but I'm talking about emotions. Talk again, my nephew. He's talking about... No, I'm talking about emotions. Then that is an emotion. All right, I then. am calm unless you're troubling me. I tell you already, don't trouble trouble when trouble not trouble you. Oh yeah, they're trouble, trouble, trouble. <laughs> trouble I don't trouble. care what you say, it's truth. That's <laughs> true. That's why them say bullies know who if a bully. I don't know if you frightened. Right, I'm the doppy conqueror. Every bully come on, make me fist up in your nose, make your boo stop out. <laughs> Oh, I'm I, don't, I don't understand this guy sometimes. I don't understand. Go on, read the number right, one. Another one. <laughs> this one's funny, but I think it's um, very... Because I've heard a lot of women say this. Guys with long foreskin. <laughs> Guys with long foreskin. A lot of women don't like men with foreskin. Have you got foreskin? No, I've been circumcised. You've been circumcised? From how mm -hmm. old? Well, from when I was younger, basically. This was accidental, actually. Yeah. You accidentally cut off your horns. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because no, no. a lot of Jamaicans, yeah? But this is cool. <laughs> well, I'll just, just circumcise yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I no, want to cut down my penis like my jumper sleeve. <laughs> Fuck off. <you> guys. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Now, what happened was uh, <coughs> when I was younger, like when I used to pee, yeah, it used to, it was like a, <laughs> no, it was like a bent, it was like, a urea, like a tube. So why you turn sideways to the toilet? <laughs> <laughs> The toilet is here, you know. <laughs> Chris is like this. <laughs> but she... <laughs> so, yeah, so basically, I had to get operated on. So they could straighten it. And in that time, I don't know the technology back then, but they said, well, we got to cut off your foreskin in order to go in there and sort it out. So that's how circumstances. But how old were you? <sighs> Young, like four or five. But you know what, growing up in school, I thought I was different because I was like, shit, that like, was a little bit funny about it because I, I knew that the norm was Everyone's to have foreskin. Everyone's facing the toilet. Chris <laughs> 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 is looking at the side of his bridge's face. <laughs> hey, so. <laughs> What do you put for number question four on the back page? So now, I thought it was something wrong with me, yeah? <laughs> Until, um... <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, you really are. I fucking hate you. <laughs> Go ahead, so yeah, no, I thought something was wrong until... <laughs> 
Kau dah tak tahu bab. Saya dia bab dia dah tak tahu. So what I want to do is cut the chain. Sorry, I'm sorry. 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 This is a sensitive subject. Good, good. What did you think was weird though? Because... <laughs> <laughs> my God, that boomerang piece. Sorry. I apologize. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go, go. Continue for carry on. Uh, he's a white guy. No, but what did you think was wrong? No, because, like... You just not, because my brothers, they didn't get circumcised. So, so did you look... Did you see that yours was different? No, gonna, no, no. He's gonna try and trap me. He's no, trying to trap me. He's trying to trap me. I know what he's doing. I know what he's doing. This man shot me. No, no, I'm not. No, because I listen, do. when you're growing up, you have baths with your brothers and that. So you, it's that obviously. Don't trap again. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. It's, it's, it's obviously you're gonna know what your you brothers. You see what your like. brothers. Right. Okay. Growing up. So you look different to your brothers. Yeah. Because they so were circumcised. Were they circumcised? No. So how, how was it different? Because I thought me being circumcised, remember they're the majority and I'm the minority in this situation. So me being oh. circumcised and them having the foreskin, I thought something was wrong with me oh, for having that. But it went until I got to like year 10. I remember these, these girls, they would be they're advanced girls that had been having sex from time. Do you know what they said? They were like, oh, men without foreskins are the best. It looks bigger and it's better. And I thought, oh. All right then. So from then that gassed my head. I don't know what, but that kind of cleared this whole sort of um, insecurity of mine. So you used to be insecure. So was the, so so what, how old were you when those girls did that then? And I was about fourteen. They were just wow. talking about men. So really. the whole time you felt conscious yeah, of it. Yeah, till about year That's ten. That's mad. Yeah, but I hadn't had sex yet anyway. Do you know what I mean? But I felt a bit conscious of it because until them girls said it. They said men with foreskins are better. And then now I hear it as well. Women love men with foreskin because they say without it's foreskin, without foreskin yeah. because it's cleaner and they say it looks bitter, all bit right. bigger and all Let of that. I knew I was going to cut in sooner or later. You just says cleaner, right? Mm. Let me tell you something. Because I have a lot of female friends that kind of say the same thing. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. And I said to them, listen, you don't tell the man to pull back his skin and clean under there. Yeah, you're meant to. I saw you, enough people don't know that. You That's know what I mean? mad. How do they not know that? That's disgusting, bro. If you don't know about pull back, you're sort clean of clean your sort of custard, bro. But have you, been, have you been circumcised? No, get away from me with that. I mean, I know What's wrong with being circumcised? No, but I, don't, I, I didn't say nothing wrong with it, but I'm just letting you know. Yeah. No, I mean, not. I would still do it again, because I, I realise it's actually a cool thing. It's cool. There's nothing wrong with it, but I'm just saying, like, that yours was for, like, medical Fluky reasons. Fluky reasons, yeah, but yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. glad I got it done, though. Ross Club. Yeah. No, no, no. Imagine to trying to do it now as an adult. Would you get it cut off as an adult? Yeah. You're fucking mad. Yeah, brother. You would, would if, be honest. If, yeah. just the, uh, listen to me. No. Brother, Nigerians or Africans get it done, Muslims as, get it no, done. No, but I'm talking about as an adult. If you think about it now, I couldn't do that now. But if you're Muslim and you just converted, then a lot of them have to get their foreskin done, right? But is uh, any part of the religion? I don't think you have to get it. All right. Oh, let is me, it part let of, me tell you the thing. Sorry, people, if I'm, if I'm wrong, but I, I thought that was the case, like, when you change a religion. Because I know a guy that um, converted to Islam. Reverted. Reverted, to, or whatever. Yeah. yeah. It, yeah. They say it, reverted, because okay. you're originally born a Muslim, and so if you come oh, okay. away from Allah, oh, then right, you... Yeah, okay, yeah. so reverted to um, Islam, and he was in his, like, mid-late 20s, and he got his... Um, done when he reverted back to Islam. Mirror. So I thought it was just a part of the religion. Brother, that's, I'd, have to, I'd have to tap out. Let me tell you, <laughs> me, 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 me tell you please, let me tell you the benefit of not having it, right? Yeah. You have the choice whether to leave it exposed mm. or cover up yourself and protect yourself. You know what I mean? But girls talk about it. My friend said, do you know how ugly it looks when a man's not even hard and his penis is relaxed and he's just got the long foreskin hanging? It looks like a, a sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this, this is Percy. <laughs> that is not me. So even if we are going with that, you stay there, man. 
<laughs> well, are you circumcised? No. <laughs> are you not there? No. But me, I'm here. But my, my skin is not. Are you not? No, your skin is. I know it's going to be. Don't talk about my hood. You don't know what I look like. No, no, you're not an old school hood. Definitely. Like, Chris. And big like this as well. Chris. I'm the man who I know what a school hood look like. See, it's all them pawns you watch. Dirty man. You know what I mean? I only know how my hood look. Like, I don't look at no next man. Let me just say, yeah. <laughs> I've got, I've still got my foreskin, but it, I, it's not long at all, at all. Like. Neither is mine. Mm. Nobody got like him know what my hood look like. Uh, no, I'm just. <laughs> I, I, I didn't say I know. So why you picking me for this? I didn't say I know. Seen it, Percy. Listen to me, <laughs> but nobody you know, would just cut the hair around No, but you know that. Come on, gravity always pulls things longer, isn't it? So look how long it is. <laughs> Look how long he's at this one. Look at Because you know, come on, you know the man there with the bull bags. Man has to tuck it down in his socks. You're going to make him drown. Let me tell you something, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> <Did he stop? laughs> Don't listen to this man crazy imagination. I don't know where you're going with that. Right? Talk to any of you women, them, them like it. You know mm. what I mean? Like I said, you have the ability to leave it back or protect yourself. Uh, do you prefer you know women with big lips or small lips? What kind of lips? On their labia. Tun tun? Yeah. No business about that as long as it's so you don't mind tight. You don't mind if it's as long as it's too too tight. I like small lips. I like small lips as well. I like them too big. No, brother, when they're too big, sometimes you got to flick through it like a Rolodex. <laughs> 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 Let me grab on the shade, the woman. Then. <laughs> 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 you see your people, them all them taking liberties. But I'm trying, long I'm long trying to look. find his name. <laughs> 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 Ladies, don't worry. Just come to Uncle Paul. So yeah, don't pay these two no. guys for no time. No, but we just, we get Willie shamed as well. Yeah, so of course. It, but it, I'm only saying the preference. But uh, come yeah, on. I like, I'm, I'm just saying, if I, if, if I had a preference, if I had to choose, if you're comfortable with the, with the Rolodex. <laughs> <laughs> But I got to shuffle through all the way. K, K, K. That's the start with the second year. That's my preference, though. Yeah. But uh, fair, play the, fair play with the long foreskin. Like, yeah. that, might, that probably don't look good. Uh, there's one which I think I've been of, I've, I'm a part of. I've done it before. They said, those men that breadcrumb, they ain't interested. Hold on, stop it again. What is this breadcrumb? Wait, yeah, I'm going to show you. Mm -hmm. Sorry. They ain't interested, but they keep throwing crumbs. Meaning, you give them a little something, oh, he really likes me. And then you keep, you keep them there. And then you keep them there, you just keep throwing little things. You know what I mean? Oh, you're looking sexy today. You know? Oh, just keep the woman and dangling. Yes, okay, the okay. dangler. Have you, have you ever done that before when you were younger? No, no, no. Every woman that me did there with me, I always treat them good. You know what I mean? No, yeah, but I've you done can't it. treat, if you've got loads of women, you can't treat them all great. Listen to me, man. It is said if one man could look after two women equally, then so let it be. Yes. <laughs> if one man could look after 20 women equally, so let it be. Yeah, but he could look after them equally poor. <laughs> Well, it's still equal. <laughs> well, it's still equal. It's still equal. It's still equal. Everybody yeah. gets treated like shit. <laughs> but for the all this year. <laughs> <laughs> but no, then a joke aside, anytime you're there with a woman, you always deal with them proper. You know what I mean? Yeah, of course. But there's times when, like, there's got to be times. Every, I think everybody's done it. But I've, I've, I've had it where. You don't know what you want from the woman. It's like you like her. But you don't want to have a relationship. Yeah, but then she gets a bit close. You think, oh, do I really want this? And then she goes away for a little while and you're like, no, nah, you know, I kind of don't mind her. And then you throw another breadcrumb and then she gets a bit close. It's like, it's like this pulling thing. Mm. I've been there. Have you ever dumped a girl before? Yes. But how do you, <laughs> but are you good at it? Loads. Or, yeah, but, but are you good at it? Or, or when I say dump, I mean as in like, You've, you've said to her, look, I don't think this is working out. Or have you kind of like just Made slowly... Made Yeah, or just slowly just... Yeah, just... just, just. <laughs> 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 you 
Yeah, they was there. I got loads of that ones there, boy. But just this here. Yeah, so. Um, yeah, no. Tuesday? Oh, I don't know. I think I'm busy. Hold on, wait. Let me just check. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how he's my boy. Right? <laughs> it's hard because of the guitar. Uh, 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 to keep clear to even more. Oh, right? God. A <laughs> uh, couple more, and then we move on. Uh, uh, women. <laughs> If you guys want to support us, um, if you're not a Patreon, you can sign up to Patreon. It's only £2 a month. You get loads of extra content behind the scenes. You, you get, oh, get it early. There's so much you get. And I, we're going to start. In fact, I'm going to start. You have to stop it, telling them £2. No, because I'm not. Because it's going up. It's going up. Actually, yeah, that's a, that's a good point. And what we're going to actually do as well, we're going to do a live show. So we're going to take this on the road, people. So let us know what area you're from. Mm -hmm. And whoever comes back with the biggest response probably going to be London or Birmingham. And then Birmingham, I love Birmingham. Birmingham's amazing. Leeds as well is nice. Brother, that's too far, man. <laughs> that's too far. That's Francis rude. Francis is going to have to come out three times to stretch his back. Hold on, we'll tell you something for him over here. To be honest, we could bring anyone as Percy, you know? <laughs> all we need is a pair of white gloves. Don't worry, man, we just... And some ignorant old person. That's all we need. <laughs>